Program Out Video Tutorial, Chapter 4, Maintenance. In this part, we will demonstrate how to look after your Program Out furnace. We will explain how to perform temperature calibrations, data backups, software updates, and device diagnostics. If you want to calibrate your Program Out with the ATK2 Automatic Double Range Calibration Set, please select the Temperature Calibration menu on the home screen. The display now shows the values and the date of the last calibration. If you want to perform a new calibration, simply press the Start key. Remove the firing plate from the furnace and place it on the cooling plate using the firing tongs. Carefully grip the upper part of the ATK2 automatic temperature checking set and insert it into the opening using the firing tongs. Apply slight pressure to the center of the calibration base until the ATK2 sample clicks into place. Repeat this procedure a few times to prevent contact problems. Please also observe the instructions enclosed in the ATK2 set. Start the calibration program. Wait until the program has been completed. Then open the furnace head and remove the ATK2 sample using the firing tongs and place it on the cooling plate. The ATK2 sample can only be used once. Use a new ATK2 for the next calibration. Your programmat is now calibrated and ready for new applications. You can conveniently back up your personal furnace settings and individual programs on a formatted USB flash drive. Select the Data Backup menu on the home screen. Connect a USB flash drive to your furnace. Press the Execute button. The device will now save your personal data. Please do not switch off your furnace or remove the USB flash drive while data is being saved. Your personal settings and the individual programs have now been saved. If you want to restore settings and individual programs, press the respective button in the Data Backup menu. The device will now restore your data. Please do not switch it off or remove the USB flash drive while data is being restored. Your settings and individual programs have been successfully restored. It's very easy to update your software with a USB flash drive. You can download the most recent software version for your program at from www.ivoclar.com. Save the file to a USB flash drive. Connect the USB flash drive to the program at. Select the Software Update menu on the home screen. If an update file is available on the USB flash drive, it will now be displayed on the screen. Press the Execute button to start the update. The furnace will now download the most recent software version. Do not turn off the device or remove the USB flash drive while the update is being downloaded. Complete the update process by turning the device off and then on again. The Diagnosis menu offers many functions which will assist you in case any errors occur with the furnace. Select Diagnosis menu on the home screen. You will find the individual test programs in the Tests menu. The Vacuum test verifies the performance and tightness of the vacuum system. The Heating test examines the quality of the heating muffle. The display test searches for pixel errors and the OSD test checks the optical status display. The keypad test checks the functionality of the touchscreen and the keypad. In devices with infrared technology, the IRT test verifies the functionality of the infrared camera. If an error message occurs, it will be saved in the error list and can be called up at any time. If a problem occurs, you can generate a diagnostics file at the push of a button. To generate a diagnostics file, open the Remote Diagnostics menu. Then, connect a USB flash drive to the furnace and press Execute. The diagnostics file is now saved to your USB flash drive. 
you can forward this file to the Ivoclar After Sales Service Centre or to any email address. The Service button can only be used by the After Sales Service. In the protocol table, you can view the last firing cycles. You can print or send this information to a computer. However, this function is only available if it has been activated previously in the settings menu. Humid climates can cause the condensation of water in the firing chamber. This may impair the function of the vacuum system. For this reason, the furnace head should be kept closed when the furnace is switched off. This way, you can prevent humidity from entering the furnace. If moisture enters the furnace head nonetheless, then use the dehumidification program. You will find the dehumidification program in the Maintenance Programs menu on the home screen. Open the dehumidification program and press the Start key. The program takes about 30 minutes to complete. The cleaning program cleans the heating muffle. You will find the cleaning program in the Maintenance Programs menu. Simply open the program and press the Start key. The program takes about 20 minutes. 